the big developments that occurred in the period immediately before the First World War is the advent of wireless, and the First World War accelerates the development. The main use of wireless during the first couple of years of the war was by the fledgling flying corps to spot artillery fire. It was still difficult to tune, it wasn't terribly robust, they were only as good as the code that you used and you had to carry around batteries which were literally a pain to carry due to the leaking battery acid. As a substitute, they tended to use line. You could speak to everybody securely, you could send Morse which would be clearer and have a longer range down that physical structure. But your standard telephone lines were fragile things and kept getting broken through shell fire or people standing on them. The British Army used a system for their field telephones called a single cable and earth return. A single cable going between the two handsets, then they put an earth spike in the ground and use the conductivity of the earth to complete that circuit. The French and then later the Germans discovered a way of intercepting this by putting in their own ground spikes and then taking what was left of that very weak electric signal and then amplifying it through a number of valves so that they could overhear that signal.